Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Moshe bringing you guys another video that you guys are all going to want to hear because I know a lot of people clicked on it from the title and thumbnail. So guys, it is true. It is coming back very, very, very soon. But before we start talking about that, I have some important news to bring you guys. I'm going to be doing a lot of hand gestures just because I haven't talked to you guys, I feel like, in a while because I, I, I was supposed to live stream yesterday, okay? I was supposed to live stream and I, I, I didn't make the stream. I didn't announce it on Twitter. And this is because, guys, I've been extremely busy and I'm going to tell you why. This was something that I was going to announce later down the road, but I feel like I need to tell you guys this now. So basically, if you guys don't know, I am actually moving out. I've lived in the basement of my parents' house for a while now and now they are finally moving all the way across the country they're not even going to be living in the united states no more so my parents are going to be gone and i'm going to be uh independent young man out here you know just just living on the streets you know i mean i'm not going to be on the streets i'm going to actually take over their old house payment so basically they're moving out into their own place over in the philippines all the way across the country and i'm going to be taking over this house this is going to be my house where i'm going to have to pay rent and stuff like that and guys i have so much in plan for this house so there's a lot of things that i need to do there's a lot of things to prep for like if you guys don't know if you have moved ever before you understand where i'm coming from that moving it takes time i mean you got to pack things you got to get things ready and when you're selling a house or buying a house there's things you want to do right before you buy the house or moving to the house and what i mean by this is like basically getting things ready fixing the backyard fixing the front yard fixing uh painting the walls painting all this other stuff and making sure that everything is ready now keep in mind my parents are moving so that means they're taking all their furniture so i gotta go out and buy new furniture i gotta to go out and buy new things for the walls all these things so i'm just extremely just stressed out not stressed out because i i'm i'm like happy but then again sad my parents are leaving but it's it's time for a new chapter in my life so i'm just ready for it and you guys i would not have been able to do anything like i was honestly i'm gonna tell you guys right now uh this might get a little sad but i was honestly at a point in my life um where i was very scared and i wasn't able to do anything because i didn't know what i was doing with my future but then you guys just started showing me so much love and support and i was grinding youtube out for like nine months straight um with no growth at all i was actually losing subscribers daily guys i was losing like 200 a day but now we're gaining subscribers and i hit a point where we just grew so fast to the point where you guys are actually helping me out so much because i mean without you guys i would not be able to do anything i'm doing now first of all but guys thank you so much for that but with that being said forget it all since i missed yesterday's live stream i'm gonna make it up to you guys in today's live stream i know a lot of you guys are gonna be here in today's live stream i want as many people as possible it is going to be an hour late so we're not gonna go from four to eight we're going to go from 5 to 8, and maybe we might extend it. It depends on how the viewer count is, because if you guys don't know, we're trying to get partnered over there at Twitch, so that way you guys can get emotes and stuff like that. But basically, we're doing another giveaway. Uh, I know we do giveaways basically every live stream, and you guys already know, my viewer count isn't like the thousands, so you guys are actually able to win the giveaways a lot better. The chances just go up a lot more, just because I don't have a massive amount of people watching the live stream. So if you guys do want free V-Bucks, we're picking two winners for 2000 and V bucks, you guys. It's it's legit giveaways. All you gotta do is go over to twitch.tv slash exotic motion and follow the stream, you guys. We're also gonna be live streaming over here at YouTube, but again, you guys already know I don't pay attention to the YouTube chat, it's mainly the Twitch chat. So if you guys want to go to the Twitch channel, that's actually where we're gonna be picking the winners, not the YouTube side, it's gonna be on the Twitch side. So, guys, hope to see you tonight. But with that being said, with all that being said, let's start talking about what everyone came to this video for. The self-refund system is actually coming back to Fortnite Battle Royale. If you you guys didn't know a while back like a really long time ago they only had it active for i think like a few hours and then they took it down so not everyone was able to do it so basically if you guys have skins we're gonna go to my skins right now if you guys have any skins that you do not want like for instance look at all these skins i bought i've spent over $300 on skins and I've definitely given away over $300 in skin giveaways. So if so if you guys can see I have a lot of skins in Fortnite Battle Royale you guys. I have over way too many and there's a lot of them that I just never use. So of course a lot of people ask hey Motion how do you get rid of the skins? How do you refund it to get new skins back? Basically I'm going to read this article to you guys. So the self refund system was announced in the version 3.6 update but was quickly removed due to some underling issues. The self refund system has been an issue that Epic's were trying to fix for some time and it looks like it will be returning in the next update which will most likely be on the 29th of may according to the official fortnite trello board the trello board also states that epic will be also be making some usable improvements to the system here is what the self-refund system looked like before it was removed so here's an image of what it looks like you guys on screen so basically you have all the purchase histories now it only gives you the purchase histories in the last 
30 days, which does suck because all the other skins like way, way back, you cannot refund it. It's only the past 30 days, and then once you click it, you refund it, you get your V-Bucks back. You do not get money back, you get V-Bucks back, so you can actually buy some more items in the item shop and stuff like that. So the self-refund system is a new feature that allows players to refund items they had accidentally purchased or were not happy with from Fortnite item shop. Players are only allowed to refund items that they have purchased in the last 30 days and will have an, a limit of refunding three items lifetime for V-Bucks. Not all items will be refundable in the self-refund feature. So basically, that kind of sucks because it's like you only get the last 30 days and on top of that, you only get three refunds in your whole entire life. So it's a lot of people I already know, a lot of people are going to sit there and refund every single skin for or the, the three refunds that they're allowed to refund at the very beginning and then towards the end, they're going to be like, dang, I don't have any more refunds left in the game so that does suck but again i i would suggest just use it wisely you guys don't use your refund on everything right away just wait and see if you ever do want to use it because you accidentally bought something or something like that but the self-refund system refundable items are emotes gliders harvesting tools back blings, and outfits so that's basically almost everything in the item shop the self-refund system non-refundable items is the battle pass the battle pass tiers the starter pack the founders pack the founders pack upgrades Loot llamas from Save the World and events and weekly items from Save the World, you guys. So basically, you can't refund the Battle Pass. You can't refund uh, the stars that you actually buy in the Battle Pass, the starter pack. You can't refund any of that stuff, you guys. But it is coming because somebody tweeted out to, or they actually emailed Epic Games and they're like, hey, I made an accidental purchase. I don't know what to do about this. And they actually messaged them back saying, yo, don't worry. The uh, refund system is coming back June 1st. So you'll be able to do it there. So June 1st, which is basically only a few days from now. Now, let me pull up my calendar real quick. June 1st is next Friday, you guys. So it's not this Friday coming up, but the next Friday, the refund system is going to be 100% back. And I already know they're going to drop a lot of new skins next week. So who knows, man? There's going to be a refund system for the new skins, which I don't know because a lot of people, if you buy the skin, you know, it sucks because a lot of the skins that I have, they're really old skins that I do not use and do not want to do. I don't, just don't care for them, but they're old. They're over 30 days old, so I can't refund it, which it kind of just, it, it kind of sucks, you know? But it's Alright guys, with that being said, there's some other news and information that I want to cover in today's video guys. We have a lot of stuff to cover in today's video. So basically, there has been data miners going around in the Fortnite coding system, you know, doing their little hacking thing, doing their thing. Um, it's not really hacking. All they do is they just read the codes that the game has and um, it is very easy I mean if you know how to get into the game's coding system, you can't change anything. You can just read the coding system um, You can actually see secret stuff within the game So they actually ended up finding two new Intel backpacks you guys if you don't know that's not back blings. Back blings are things that we wear cosmetically on your character that does nothing to the game. It does not change the game. It's only visual things that you can wear in the game. So that's back blings. Now we have back packs, which these actually change the game. They also are visual and they also change the game in the play style as well. If you don't know, they released the jet pack, which was actually one of the recent ones um, that a lot of people were complaining about. They're saying the jet pack's OP. I don't think it's OP just because a lot of people, for one, you're, you're very open. Everyone can focus you. So, uh, if you're jetpacking it does suck because if somebody in the if is really good with it they can really screw you up with it but i mean other than that a lot of people aren't that good with it so for now it takes time it's not that not that good you know but they have other backpacks that to bring into the game starting off with the intel backpack uh now the intel backpack seems to be similar to the eye of the storm backpack item that was accidentally released in the version 4.2 content patch as it allowed players to see the next storm the description for this item reads intel backpack uh find the eye of the storm and reveal nearby loot and enemies this is this is insane all right number one this might be this this actually might be op guys think about this okay finding out what the next storm is that's okay just because you know where the next storm is it does nothing to anyone else but if you're finding the loot thing mm, i'm not too worried about the loot thing because this game's been out for so long that everyone knows where every chest is everyone knows where items spawn at and stuff like that so everyone already knows that but to find nearby enemies this this is op because a lot of the game relies on you being able to look around the map and finding people without them finding you but now it reveals enemies on the mini map thing that you have that's that's op because you can literally just see it's like a uav basically you're going to be able to see where people are and they can't see where you are which is just it's unfair i hope 
I hope I didn't read that right and that's not coming to the game. Um, actually, I just don't hope it's, I hope it's not like that, you know? I hope they make it less OP because that is really, really OP. All you need is one person in your squad to have it and he can literally be given callouts like, hey, there's people over here, let's go rush them. Or, hey, there's two teams over here fighting and you can see exactly where they are and you'll be like, all right, let's go fight them. If I'm, it's just, it's, it's too much. Now, the next one is the Medic Backpack. This one is actually pretty cool. So basically, the description of the Medic Backpack reads, carry your allies to victory with this advanced life-saving equipment guys so carry your allies to victory with the life-saving equipment what does that mean you're basically going to have a backpack that you heal your teammates with so i guess you you shoot this spray out maybe and it heals your teammates probably by like five a second as you're shooting them which is really good so if you get done with a gunfight and stuff like that and you don't have a campfire or anything you can literally run around just spraying your teammates down while they're healing and stuff like that it's definitely cool kind of reminds me of a uh, overwatch just a little bit because if somebody's running around spraying just spraying randomly and trying to heal your teammate kind of it's kind of like a healer you know kind of like overwatch how they have healers and stuff like that but i think it's kind of cool i kind of really like it it's going to definitely change the game because if you have your squad in the storm all you have to do is have one person wearing the backpack everyone runs in front of him and as he's running he's just spraying your squad down so they can constantly get health while the storm's taking down health so they can make it out of the storm a little bit better yes you sacrifice one person but it's better to sacrifice one than to sacrifice the whole team so i definitely like this coming to the game i definitely think it's going to be something extremely cool you guys and with all that being said you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you please can give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the giveaway on the twitch live stream i hope you guys actually come out to the live stream we're gonna have a lot of fun we're just gonna be grinding out solos and stuff like that we might be playing with subscribers it's up to you guys uh all you got to do is come to twitch.tv slash exotic motion if you guys are excited for the backpacks we can talk about it over there thank you guys for all the love and support if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up i appreciate that more than anything let's try to break i know you guys can do it 400 likes if you made it to this far in the video just give the video a thumbs up it, it doesn't hurt you at all just give the video a thumbs up it helps me out and i appreciate that more than anything and i'll see you guys in the live stream today peace